Hey, okay, so today I'm going to review the 1965 film by director Roman Polanski, Repulsion. This is, uh, right off the bat, one of my favorite movies. It's just really, I don't know, it's just really cool. It's just really cool. It's just, um, just like on a simple, kind of just from a simple perspective, it's just really, <laughs> it's just really cool. Uh, and if you want to get more down to the nitty gritty, there's some like, there's some themes. There's some themes with like chauvinism and stuff like that. Um, but whatever, let's not get into that. Let's kind of just get right down to the review. This is probably one of the most seminal movies uh, in the psychological kind of thriller drama. Um, it's it's probably most notable in, say, Shutter Island or Black Swan. Um, in Black Swan, probably more so than Shutter Island. Well, no, no, those two movies. If you've seen those, there's hints of that from... When you watch this, you can kind of tell, like, okay, those guys have probably seen this movie. Um, but the basic premise is that our main character, oh, God, I forgot her name. <laughs> it's for my favorite movie, I forgot her name. I think it's Caroline. Um, she's staying alone in her sister's house uh, while she's away on holiday. And we literally see, like, her just mind just crack. You know, it's just like she's cracking, like, all over the place. Um, the, you know, the progression though, unlike in other movies, is uh, instead of kind of going from like, ins you know, from sane to insane, um, she's, you know, from the first shot of the movie, um, you know, we get a hint of neurosis going on. She's crazy through and through. There's like no, qu like, never in the movie did I kind of go like, mm, is she crazy? No, no, she's like flat out insane, nuts, batshit. Um, <laughs> the stuff she does, man, it's, it's, uh, anyways, um, he never kind of, he never kind of questions it, you know, he never, he never plays that game of, like, you know, kind of like he's, like he's fucking with you, like, is she or is she isn't? Um, it's kind of, he kind of, he keeps reminding us, uh, just when you, <laughs> if by chance you forget that she's, you know, nuts, he'll throw something else at you, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's a heart in her purse, you know, just remember that. Um, this is kind of uh, it's it's kind of weird though because he's uh, so he's kind of obvious. Um, say let's say like Darren Aronofsky, um, but he's uh, he's he, you know he kind of knows he has some restraint at the same time. Like let's say he's he's subtle in other ways. Um, so the lighting, for instance, the lighting is just really um, I don't know. It's really good. It's it starts uh, relatively bright. Or maybe not bright the right word, but it starts from light to dark, and just like um, throughout the scenes, just by looking at the lighting, you kind of get an idea of uh, the mood that's or something that's going to go down, or something like that. Just something as simple as lighting, he kind of sets up a mood. Um, he also, I mean, he just has this skill. Um, he perfects it later on in his other his other movies. Let's Rosemary's Baby. That was probably um, uh, or even his new one. Even his new one. Um, again, like you know, it's just. This guy has craft. Um, the Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, Rosemary's Baby, or whatever other movie that you may have seen by the guy, he has this um, this really good ability to kind of make you feel claustrophobic, just like his characters in the movie. It's usually, uh, which is ironic considering his lifestyle right now, but it's just um, yeah, he's really good at doing that. So even then, you know, like it's it's uh, you get you could see him beginning to hone that skill in this movie. Um, that's really good, you know, that's really cool. That's something that, uh, not, not a lot of, ah, well, either way, it's something he has and it's really cool and I love, uh, I love feeling that way. I don't know, I mean, that's maybe not the, <laughs> I don't know if that sounds good, but, you know, I love feeling like I'm being, like, trapped. Um, um, so let's say the last shot, for example, but back to the lighting thing, the last shot, um, the lighting just subtly tells you uh, it reveals something, and it kind of changes your perspective of some events that happen in the movie. And you're like, oh, okay. oh, oh. Um, but, you know, to explore the themes of the movie uh, would probably... I mean, it's really subtle, but it kind of... If I told you right now, like, what, what, what my interpretation of it is with that last shot, um, it, would, it would probably ruin it for the first-time viewers. So, even though it's an old movie... Um, it's probably more likely that, you, that some of you guys haven't seen it. Um, I 
implore you to see this movie. If you like to feel creeped out, then check this out. Check it out. If you like to feel claustrophobic or whatever, um, check it out. It's just a really cool movie. It's just, uh, yeah, it's not scary necessarily, but it's just a really cool thriller. Or I don't even know if thriller is the right word, but um, it's just really, <laughs> check it out.